what's going on? It's six in the morning. I was looking forward to sleeping in today. Uh, I guess that's not happening today. Tails. Tails. I should have known. known. Hey, little. Morning, Sonic. What's wrong? Why? Why are you staring at me like that? Tails? Is that... Is that... You? Yeah? Is that a problem? Can I ask you, what in the world are you wearing? Well, since I noticed you were wearing a red and white vest with a red neckerchief upon rescuing me the other day, I decided maybe I should try wearing some cool gear like you. I found goggles lying around, and it's helped me out when it comes to welding pieces together, as well as the electrical base for the Tornado 2. By the way, do you like the name? Tornado 2? I like it. Especially the color. The blue looks beautiful. Thanks. Since the tornado belonged to your long-lost father, he liked the bright red paint he used. I like it because it was used to signify danger for Eggman, that his plans were going to be foiled for the 2376th time. When making out the blueprints for the new biplane, I was debating on color. Originally, I was going to go back to the bright red. But I decided red is kind of outdated. So, I looked over at the swatches over at the workbench. I went with three different colors. Orange to represent my bird color. Blue to represent you and your speed. And black. Why black? I don't know. I just like how it looks. But I came to the conclusion that black would look very suspicious for the folks of Station Square. Thinking we're some kind of enemy force trying to disrupt the world. That's good. You didn't want to go with black because I don't think anyone's used to us being around here yet. Same with Eggman claiming he wants to build his empire here and overthrow their leader with the Chaos Emeralds. What about the other two swatches? Orange and blue. As I thought about it more, I decided not to go with orange because orange on the plane looks weird. Yeah, that doesn't classify the tornado one bit, but the blue does. Exactly, and this used to be your biplane before you met me. True, and I gotta say, I've been meaning to change that old red color to blue for a long time. It's great to see it here on the tornado too. Just wait and see what this baby can do. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's test her out. Hold on there, hotshot. It's not done yet. I need one more component. Oh, well, where can we find the last piece you need for the plane? The Miles Electric says the last piece needed for the plane is located at a hardware store in, in town. Then that's where we're heading. Let's go. It says that it doesn't open till 8 in the morning. Oh, don't tell me. Sorry, Sonic. <sighs> Great. Two hours later. Is it open now? Not yet, Sonic. Give these people some time. They might be unlocking the doors and turning on the lights. Oh my gosh, these people are so slow. We've been waiting here for two hours. And I didn't even have time to grab some breakfast. I know, and I'm sorry about that. You owe me 25 rings for this. I figured you were going to demand money for this. But you know, I can't go out in the world by myself. I'm 10 years old. I'm still classified as a kid, and do you see a kid wandering around in the city by themselves? Well, not really. Exactly, we won't be in there for long. We just need to grab the component I need to finish the plane, and we'll be back across town in no time. If you say so. Finally! Let's head in! A few moments later. Any luck, Tails? No luck yet. Uh, hate to rush you, buddy, but can you hurry up a bit? We got people staring at us. 
Sonic, just chill. Found it! Great, now let's bail. Sonic, we gotta pay for these items. They won't accept gold rings, we gotta run! Stop, you need to pay for your items. Thieves, don't call the police on them. Animal things. Sonic, do you realize what you just done? Yeah, it's called time to bail, Tails. No, we stole from the hardware store. We shoplifted. Shoplift? We're not even strong enough to pick up a shopping building. Not lifting a building? Look at these. Yeah, that's what we need for the tornado too. Now let's go! These things have a price tag. So what? Okay, Mr. Smarty Pants. Where's the receipt for these items? Uh-oh. Yeah, uh-oh. We're in big trouble with these people. to do with us are are they going to throw us in jail i don't think so since we're different than we are they might <coughs> what what are they going to do they might take us to a laboratory where they do crazy illegal experiments on us because we might appear to be aliens to these people he must be he near must a be place near where planes are, planes are. Uh, you sure you want to go there? Go where? Area 99? Area 99? It's a top secret military base. It's where the government keeps all of their tanks, fighter jets, and high tech spy equipment. Not to mention, they do crazy experiments to someone like you and Tails. Crap! Tails! We might be going to. to. Area 99. Area 99? Well, told me that place is dangerous because it's where a lot of the government's toys are there and we're loony scientists do experiments on exotic creatures. We can bust out, right? Oh, no. Detain them and send them to Area 99. I think these things are like, are like in the reports on the news. Let's see what they really are. Meanwhile... I like this book. Hmm? This is Scarlett Garcia from SSTV News bringing you breaking news on the reports of these mysterious animal aliens. SS Police report that they've caught two of the animal aliens after they shoplifted from a local hardware store on Central Street. What? Witnesses say that the two aliens fit the description on the FBI's most wanted list. One of them is a blue spiky creature that was reported with a dark possessive feline the other day, and the other is a two-tailed creature reported to crash some kind of handmade plane in the local landfill. Sonic! Tails! The two life beings have been taken to Area 99, where a local scientist will do experiments to see what these creatures are and if they pose a threat to our society. Crap, I gotta bust them out! But... how? In other news, authorities are still looking for the suspicious character Dr. Eggman. If you have any information... I hope this works. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, yes. Hello there. I'm calling upon the weird animal aliens that were taken to Area 99 for experimentation. I'm sorry, sir, but we can't release these alien animal scenes until experiments are done. That's why I'm calling. I'm an attorney for one of the local doctors in the town, and he's fascinated by these animal things. He wants to ask them questions before they are experimented by your fabulous scientist at Area 99. 
I can't believe I called those jerks fabulous. Bleh. How do you know these animals can speak fluent English? Because, uh, my fellow doctor friend went to a fine medical school in town, and he graduated with honors at Harvard. He did a field study to see if animals can speak fluent English. Then maybe he can understand who these alien animal things are, and if they pose a threat to our kind. Hmm. I didn't even think about interrogation with these a animal aliens. What's the doctor's name? A name? Oh, <laughs> that's easy. His name is Dr. 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 Philip K. Johnson. Yes, Dr. Philip K. Johnson. Dr. Philip K. Johnson, you say? And your name, Mr. Attorney? Samuel. Alright, Samuel. I'll let our AC detective know to let them go so you can interrogate these animal aliens with Dr. Johnson. Great! I'll be in the city waiting for these aliens. My client will be so thrilled to meet them face to face. Alright, you have a great day, sir. You too. <laughs> Nailed it! Meanwhile... You'll never take me alive! Sonic, they took us alive. Oh. But still! This is all your fault! My fault? What are you talking about? If you haven't run out like a maniac when people were staring at us at the hardware store, we wouldn't be in this mess. Well, excuse me that these people don't know who we are. I was just trying to get us out of there before they pull out their phones and took pictures and recordings. But I'll find a way to bust us out of here. Hey, Modi, over here. I heard you're trying to break out of Area 99. Well, somewhat. Why are you interested? If you do end up escaping, you think you can let my brother and I out? Uh. Two things. If we do end up letting you and your brother out, the scientists who work here will spot you escaping with their security cameras and will blame us for letting you two out. Second, why do you want out so badly like Sonic and I? So we can make mischief on the fools who locked us in! Uh, what my brother is saying is that we've been here for so long. We barely ate because these humans give us nasty stuff that we can't eat. Plus, shearing out of the same water is humiliating because my brother hogs the bowl. Hey! Shut up! Quit your whining! And sleeping on the hard floor is just painful. I mean, imagine sleeping without a nice, comfortable bed with no blankets to keep you warm when it's cold out. Gee, I feel sorry for the both of you. Sonic, are you stupid? Are you seriously going to trust these thugs? They're not thugs, Tails. They've been in here longer than we have. We gotta help them out. I don't know. They seem... a bit... sus. We're gonna help them out. Tails, once we bust out of here, we'll- Sorry, Sonic. I'm not helping you break these guys out. Why not? That's our job, is it, Tails? To help people? Yeah, that's in the hero's code of honor, but not to help thugs like these guys. Come on, I made one mistake today. Can I try to, like, I don't know, make things right for once? No! I said I was sorry for getting us locked up here. What do you want from me? Alright, Blue Creation, Toontown Freak. Let's go, you're free. We're free? Who bailed us out? That's our cat girl for ya. Let's go. Brother? Yeah? We're not gonna let a dumbfound hedgehog and an overprotective pipsqueak get away from being free and leaving us in jail. So, what's the plan? We're busting out. Tonight.
lây theo. Are you single? Actually, I'm his fiance, Michelle. He's very busy with work with Dr. Philip K. Johnson, and he told me to meet up with these animal aliens. Okay. There you go. Don't let this happen again. Cat girl, thank you so much for busting us out of there. I gotta say, that limousine was so freaking cool. Uh, Sonic, I don't think she's interested in our limo ride. You boys have some serious talking to do. What were you guys thinking? Going out in public and shoplifting? We didn't mean to do it. Tails needed some last components for the biplane he was working on. But shoplifting! People were staring at us and made us feel uncomfortable. I tried telling him we had to pay for the items I selected, but he was like, bail time, and we ran past the counter to pay. Do you know how scared and concerned I was when you did that? I could have lost you to the scientists at Area 99. Do you know what they do to weird alien creatures like you? They dissect you. Digest? So they're cannibals. No, it's, it's dissecting, not digesting. Dissecting is cutting you apart and seeing all your organs and DNA. Exactly. You two could have been killed today. We're sorry, Laurel. No, I don't want to hear your apologies. You boys made me have a heart attack thinking I could have lost you two today. Do you even care if you get captured and taken away for eternity? I do. Sonic, on the other hand. I do care. Not after what you did today. Stop making me the bad guy here. What I did was an accident. A mistake even! A mistake that could have cost our lives. Sometimes I blame you for causing chaos control and sending you, me, and Eggman here to this world. I was trying to stop Eggman from doing dangerous things with the chaos emeralds. Because you know he only sees them as power. For us, it's transforming our thoughts into power and we use them to kick butt against him and his evil plants. All you care about is being carefree and reckless. One day, that's going to cost you your life. What if Eggman does succeed in bringing the Eggman Empire here to this world? That will never happen. I'll hold you accountable for that. Enough! Both of you are acting like children. When will you two stop this pity fight you're having? There's no There's way no in the way world I was born into a royal, royal family. family. I live I here, here in Chunan for, for all my all life. life. And here and you here are you claiming are you're, you're keeping me safe, safe because I'm royalty. Crap, Crap is preventing, is preventing me from going, from going outside, outside and having an adventure, an adventure on, on my own. Laurel Michelle Smith, you're going to respect your elders and your old man who's looked out for you for the past 10 years and stay inside without my say. Don't, don't you use, use my, my full name, name grabs. Grabs. I, I hate, hate it, it when people, when people say, my people say my full name. name. I said it because you're being disrespectful. Stop, Stop talking, talking to me. me. You made me, you made a, race me a race of beans, beans called, called Zaddy, 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 but I know who exactly, exactly you are, you Zachariah. Are Zachariah. You may claim you you're a good Zeddy, but from, but from all, all of the lessons, lessons you have taught me, taught me, you're just you're like just a group of Zeddy known as the Deadly, deadly Six! Six! Oh no. I sound like... him. Um, Laurel? You okay? I... I gotta go.
Tails, what have we done? I... I don't know. We... We should... I don't think talking to her will help. You saw how worked up she got? We should speak to her when she's a lot calmer. Like, how long are we talking? Two hours later. Who is it? It's Sonic and Tails. Can we come in? Yeah. Look, we wanted to say we're sorry about today. No, I should be the one saying sorry. I did this thing where I yelled at you too. Just like what I did with my guardian who looked out for me for 10 years of my life. Now I know what he felt when I left him that night. Sonic Tails, can I tell you boys something? Anything. What's up? The reason people see you as weird aliens from another world is because, well, you are offensive. Ow! Listen! Maybe these people don't know who the real you are. They're fearful because they think you might hurt them or cause mischief. So... How do we get everyone to see the real us and not some bad influence to the public? Tomorrow, I want you two to go to Akehayabara. It's a cool place to hang around because there are bookstores, coffee houses, and an arcade for you both to hang out. Maybe if people start seeing you two acting like you live in the city, they might warm up to you. Akehayabara? I can't speak Japanese, but that place sounds lit. We'll be there first thing in the morning. Hang on there, Sonic. There's something else I want to tell you too. Sonic knows that the world is a dangerous place because he kind of saw that when we faced off against Eggman. How? It's a long story. I don't know how things work out in your world, and this new life you two have to experience is hard and it's going to take some time getting used to. But know this. You two are awesome, and you'll do great things for the city like keeping danger away from people. However, you have to be careful. You have to know your boundaries on which people are good and which people are evil. When that evil shows its ugliness upon the citizens, you have to decide whether to show these people that you're not bad guys trying to disrupt the peace, or be fearful and let evil take over. Well, I wasn't going to let Eggman take over that day when you became overpowered with darkness. That was a different scenario, Sonic. If it was Eggman, it's a 24-7 fight. Other dangers that lurk in the city, you have to choose whether to be a hero saving the day or the villain working for evil. It is my job as your friend and caretaker to keep danger away from the both of you as possible. Do you understand? We do. Less recklessness and more being aware of our surroundings. We'll work on it together. That's true. Tills and I go way back. Okay. So... Are we good after today or are you still angry at us? Now that I got that off of my chest, I feel a lot better. Good. We should probably get some rest. Sonic and I have a big day tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll leave some money out for you two to spend at the arcade or wherever in Akehayabara. Aren't you coming with us? Eh, I'm letting you two have a bro's day tomorrow. Enjoy yourselves. You've earned it. You're the best, girl. Anything for you two. Good night, cat girl. Good night. Good night, boys.
You can say that again. Oh my gosh, it's Sonic the Hedgehog. How did you manage to pop out of the game? Uh, hi. What game? I think he's referring to this one. Whoa! It's Sonic the Fighters! I've seen this game in like... like forever! You two should totally try it out! Heck yeah! Let's go, Tails! Right behind you! yourself, Sonic? Sonic! Earth to Sonic! Sonic! Uh-huh. Sonic, I asked you a question and you just ignored me. Sorry. I, I was... I was just... Sonic? Are you... blushing? A... Uh, a little? If you're blushing, then that would mean... <gasps> oh my gosh! Sonic, you're in love! <laughs> what? No, 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 I'm, I'm not. Oh, you're in love. Who asked you? You were staring at the angel cat. Angel cat? Who is that girl? She wasn't in the original game. That is Honey the Cat. In the original, she wasn't fully implemented in the game's data file. She's so... beautiful. Sonic, you have ten seconds to pick your character, so stop simping at the angel feline and let's go! Uh, right. To admit, you kicked my butt pretty good, Sonic. I'm still amazed that you still have the skills to play that game after being in three Super Smash Bros. games. Four, if you count the 3DS and Wii U versions as two separate games. Y yeah <sighs> You're still thinking about that Honey character, huh? She was the most beautiful thing I ever seen. Good luck trying to wish for her to be real because she's not. Besides, if Amy found out you were liking another girl, she's gonna get furious with you. Please don't mention the hammer. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> that didn't 
doesn't sound good. Come on, let's go check it out. It feels good to finally be free. Take this! Take that! Dude, you're scaring them off! You want to teach these wars a lesson! It's those ruffians from Area 99! How did they escape? I told you they were bad news when we met them! Or maybe it's for an actor doing? Come on, let's confront them. own size. Who even are you anyways? Prepare to rumble. Get ready to fumble. Making their debut to these pathetic human losers are Rough, Rough and, and Tumble. tumble. <laughs> um, okay, was that even necessary? Why? Rhyme me like that? What are you, Team Rocket wannabes? What's that supposed to mean, Pipsqueak? If you want an audition for Team Rocket, sign up over on Giovanni's desk. You watch your tongue, Hedgehog. You broke your promise. What promise? You bring yourself from Area 99. We didn't break you out. We were let go. Too bad. We're here to sell this skull with your spiky friend. And how are you going to do it, huh? Throw us in jail? How did you know? Oh, too soon, huh? Okay, I wasn't expecting it to show up, honestly. Citizens of this filthy plant, you jerks have ruined my brother and mine childhood. It is time for you all to suffer the consequences when you encounter rough and tumble skunk. This is terrible! We can't do anything, Tails. We're basically doomed. Stop! Don't say that! Don't say it's over because it's not! Think about what Laurel said last night! I don't know how things work out in your world, and this new life you two have to experience is hard and it's going to take some time getting used to. But know this. You two are awesome, and you'll do great things for the city by keeping danger away from people. However, you have, you have to be have careful. To be careful. You, have you have to know, to know your, your boundaries, boundaries on which people are good and which people are evil. When that evil shows its ugliness, ugliness upon the citizens, you have, you to, have decide to decide whether to show these, these people, people that you're that not bad, bad. Guys, guys trying, trying to, disrupt to disrupt the peace, peace. or be fearful be and, and let evil take evil over. over. Well, I wasn't well, gonna let Eggman take over that day when you became overpowered with darkness. That was a different scenario, Sonic. If it was Eggman, it's a 24-7 fight. Other dangers that lurk in the city, you have to choose whether to be a hero saving the day, or the villain working for evil. You're right. Let's show these brothers what it's like when you mess with the bond of Sonic and Tails. Ugh, rough. What is it? Fools! You're making me angry! What a shame. We're just getting started. Whoever dead sentence, fine. I'll kill you right here. Bring it. Get somewhere safe. Don't let these ruffians get you. Nah! Tails! <laughs> oh, the heroes have fallen. Pity. It was actually entertaining. No matter. It's over for you two. Tumble! Yeah, Ruff? Rip out the pipsqueak's extra tail! I like the sound of that. Ah, help! Someone! Help! 
<laughs> no! Leave the kid alone! Dermal, attack him! I, I can't! He's gonna slice my arm off! Stop being a baby! Be a man! I, I'm sorry, brother! <sighs> Must I do everything around here? First, I'll hurt the backstabbing hedgehog, then wolf blood. Sonic! Stay down! Your brother need to be locked up for all eternity after what you did today. You're wrong. You haven't heard the last of Rough and Tumble. We'll be back. <laughs> you boys all right? We're fine. It's him. It's him. The guy the who guy bumped, bumped into, into me that, that other day. day. Sonic, he asked us a question. Huh? Oh, we're, we're fine. Sonic! Tails! Wait, wait, where, where did, did he? he? Sonic, Tails! Oh, thank goodness you're okay. The subways were taking a long time to get to Akihabara, and I was getting worried that those two skunks... Where did they go? They fled. A wolf came in and saved the day and our lives. A wolf? I could have sworn it was the same wolf that we encountered, Cat Girl. The one who bumped into Sonic the other day? Yeah, but when you started approaching, he just up and at him disappeared. Where do you think it could be? It's a good thing I was there to save those two. However, one of them seemed familiar. Like I saw him somewhere before. At least those two thugs weren't after this. Whoa, would you look at that! A chaos emerald! Why don't you hand it over to me?